What are the best ways to invest in the metaverse? This is MetaMan, and let's find out after the intro. Hi there. So I've moved into my new house and set up in my new office. I hope it's going to be looking better in the next few weeks, but for now, this will have to do. So without further ado, let's get on to today's topic. So I've been getting a lot of questions recently about how to invest in the metaverse. And of course, most of these people are just novices who are really interested in NFTs and virtual real estate. But the truth is, that's not the only way to invest in the metaverse. So I figured it would be a good time to talk to everyone about the many different ways that you can invest in the future of the metaverse. Now, I'm not a professional in the investing world by any means, but I did pull off an MBA in the past and I do have an interest in the topic. So this will mostly be just basic information for most people. Now, the first method I'm going to talk about is investing in ETFs. For those that don't know, ETFs mean exchange traded funds. And these are kind of like baskets of assets that you can invest in. So you don't have to choose and pick each individual asset when you're making an investment portfolio. So since more and more people are interested in the metaverse, a lot of ETFs that target this industry have appeared recently. So if you want to start investing in these ETFs, just start out by Googling what they are and then do a little bit of research, see what's inside each of these ETFs and see if these are companies that you are interested in investing in. You're not likely going to be doubling your money in a single day by investing in these ETFs, and they might be rather boring. But if you want a long-term investment strategy, this is probably the best way to go. However, if you're more interested in taking your own destiny into your hands, another way to invest in the metaverse is by directly investing into the stocks of these different metaverse companies. But when it comes to choosing a stock, don't be afraid to choose something boring. In the movie Forrest Gump, he mentions in a scene that he had made a lot of money by investing in some fruit company. Turns out that fruit company was Apple. Now, if you had watched that movie, walked out, invested $1,000 into Apple at that time, today you'd have over $600,000. The point I'm trying to make is be smart with your money. It doesn't have to be the most sexy stock available. Okay, so now the last investment that I want to talk about. And this is the one that is probably the most controversial, and that is NFTs and virtual real estate. Now, to call this topic hot would be an understatement. And there's probably a thousand YouTube channels that specialize in just NFTs right now. So I'm probably going to say something that's pretty unpopular and that NFTs and virtual real estate, these are not investments. This is speculation. A millionaire recently purchased an NFT of the first tweet ever sent out. Now that tweet is worth just a few hundred dollars. And when it comes to virtual real estate, in the coming decades, there are going to be metaverses that pop up and then disappear. When these metaverses disappear, all that real estate that you've purchased inside of it becomes worthless. Your investment disappears overnight. And if you don't think this is possible, just think about all those massive multiplayer online games that have started up and died over the last decade or so. In fact, here's a list of them. See any that you remember? Now, I want to be clear that I'm not against NFT technology or even purchasing real estate in the virtual world. It's just that we need to understand that this is not a true investment in the terms of something that is definitely going to or most likely going to grow over time. I think in the future, there's going to be a time and place where it is safe to buy and sell NFTs, and we'll have established metaverses where we can buy virtual real estate and it actually having some long-term value. But for the time now, this is pure speculation and it's a kind of all or nothing approach. Either you're going to be making quite a profit or you're gonna lose it all. And to me, that's not really investing. Okay, now if you have anything that you want to add, or if you disagree with anything that I say, just put it in the comments and let's have a discussion. And of course, thank you for watching. If you like this content, just like and subscribe. The more likes and subscribes I get, the more time and effort and resources I can put into this channel. So every little bit helps a big lot to me. So now that that's all over, this is MetaMan signing off.